I've swapped out my Mac Mini for the day to see how an iPad desktop setup compares. This video was sponsored by Magfit who were kind enough to send me over their magnetic iPad stand which makes all of this possible. On the face of it, the Magfit is very similar to a lot of other magnetic iPad stands we've seen in the past. It can rotate 360 degrees and you can tilt it back 180 but the thing that really sets the Magfit apart is that it also has a USB-C hub in its base. That includes three USB ports, space for an HDMI cable that outputs 4K at 60Hz, an Ethernet cable and a headphone jack. It is worth saying that the two USB-C ports are used to power the hub and your iPad so you won't be able to use them for any other peripherals but all of those other ports give you a great amount of functionality to create a desktop setup with the iPad. For this setup I paired my iQnix mechanical keyboard and my MX Master 3S mouse being able to rotate the iPad version basically into a portrait orientation and combining that with your favorite mouse and keyboard can make for an incredibly immersive writing experience. Having the iPad on a raised platform, especially with this organizer, means that there's no strain for my neck. Uh, my eyes are fairly level with the iPad and it's a really ergonomic way to work too. So you can actually get some pretty long stretches of writing like this. I've got a pair of Rode NHT 100s there behind me and they don't actually work on a Bluetooth setting. So I can plug them straight into the hub here and still get great audio experience when I'm watching music videos or just playing some games. One thing to be aware of is that if you do plug in a USB mic that has a headphone jack also, that is going to override the headphone jack in the iOS software and that's not something that you can change manually within settings. But overall I'm really glad that I can use these headphones on an iPad Pro. You'll see that I've got my DualSense controller very handy too in case I do want to pop in for a bit of a gaming session. I'll be using remote play most of the time with my PS5 downstairs. And that's where that Ethernet port is gonna come in really handy as well if you've got a weak Wi-Fi signal. Because you can basically buy a power link, put that nearby your computer, and then get much better connection with your PlayStation 5 or Xbox downstairs. Anything that happens in the living room, my kid is gonna try and watch it. So if I wanna play something like Elden Ring, I actually prefer playing it upstairs even if I do put it with some frame rate drops every now and again, but that's just dad life. Now look, the MagFit stand doesn't have to be stationary. You can also fold it up pretty easily and carry it around. For me, I see it and its strength when it becomes the centerpiece of a setup like this. And I fully appreciate this is never really gonna replace something like a Mac mini or any desktop computer, not in gaming, not in computing, but if you don't have the money available for a full desktop setup with a PC or a Mac mini, I believe that the more creativity you put into your setup, the more creative you will feel when you sit down to work. I made a video that kind of touches on that right here. So go and check that out. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.